I first moved to London, hoping to kickstart my career in the arts, I ended up working as a runner. It's only slightly less athletic than it sounds. Basically, you're somebody's lackey. You do the jobs that need to get done, but most people don't want to even think about. You pick up and deliver, you drop off boxes, collect shopping, you book taxis, email this shop, grab lunch and slot coffees as you rush it back to make sure it's still hot. You get late night texts and early morning emails and you run and run and run. I sprinted through this new city, learning the back routes and the lanes and the shortcuts, things to shave off 30 seconds here and there. Anything to try and get my enthusiasm noticed so that maybe next time I'd be the one getting the coffee or a package would be delivered to my door by a red-faced runner. I loved it. I promise to be gone in the morning. Gone in the morning. I'm here to pick up a parcel. Here you go. Cheers. See ya. in work hard, play hard, because there's nothing hard about going out. It's the antidote to the pushing and shoving and commuter hell. It's the release after waiting for payday and getting to the tins in the back of the cupboard. No, going out is anti-work. Nothing to prove, nothing to earn. No big boss, no levels, no pay grades, no deadlines. No big boss, no levels, no pay grades, no deadlines. Here, you're not being seen or valued for your output. You just have to be, be there, together. You dance. You let go of the struggle, forget the grind and the running, be insignificant just for a second, accept the inevitable oblivion. It's freedom. You dance, you let go of the struggle, forget the grind and the running, be insignificant just for a second, accept the inevitable oblivion. It's freedom. Well, that is, until you get an elbow in the small of your back, or the phone buzzes with the text sending you on the next mission. What? I'm not a natural traveller. I've not had the practice or enough cash to be much of a tourist. But there are some mistakes that you don't make twice. Like going to a foreign country on a Sunday and expecting anything to be open. With the day to kill, I went and did the sort of thing that keeps my dad awake at night. Got on the back of a complete stranger's bike. Be 
You can't blame me. Look at him. He had the face of a sweet angel, and I wasn't going to miss out on an opportunity for a personal tour from a local. I ended up in a country where I don't speak the language, but they seem to speak mine. I came across all sorts of strangers who knew me, or at least it felt like they saw me in a way that I never got seen at home. Like the guys who wanted a selfie. That's probably going to sit in their phone forgotten when really I want that souvenir. I recognised that everyone was like me, pushing and working to try and prove themselves, whether it was crazy football tricks, which I'm certain were impossible, or, or even my tour guide showing me around the hot spots of Milan. The pizza place tempers rose as chefs battled. In the end, the food never arrived. I guess that the fight was more important than the task at hand. I met Scooter Boy's Nonna, and she was everything I imagined. In fact, she was just perfect. And, most importantly of all, she fed my empty belly. Then, like all the best nights, we ended up in a crowded bar full of passion. And when it all boiled over, instead of spitting and scuffling, the exchange of blows were these perfect little packages of insults. Gifts, really so that afterwards us spectators could cheer and return to our drinks instead of having to step over the carnage of an actual bar fight. <laughs> Buongiorno, ciao. Hi, uh, I'm from London. Yeah, parcel for you. Ha, here you are. Oh, wow. Great, amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Fucking hell. We've all had the shit days when you've woken up and you've wondered why you'd even bothered doing that. But have you ever had a day where you can't remember waking up? A day that has taken you far beyond anything you could even dream. In fact, the sort of day that the world throws at you to remind you that you're not in charge of anything. And thank fuck for that, because that would be boring. Oh, the camera loves you. 